Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Jackie Stuck and I'm here today with uh, Joe Glines and we are going to go over a couple of small or hot key uh, scripts or easy things for you to use. So, uh, hello Joe. Hey Jackie, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm actually doing just fine. So, uh, what should we start with today? Well, I think, you know, um, hot strings are one of my favorite easy things to do in AutoHotKey. That I think it's one of the easiest things to, to do to learn and all this, also the most valuable. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember using those a lot uh, when I was just starting out. And um, currently at my, my current job, I'm also starting to use them more and more. And actually, I'm using them more now because I saw how many you had. <laughs> <laughs> because exactly and and why not uh, each time I do a um, something again I'm thinking why not make it into a hot string so so that's great so something like um, my cur the current one I'm using looks like this uh, it, it might not actually uh, mean anything to you uh, the words here the O I'm using as an as an as an short for open, and this the PR and that's I, I I don't know what that's called in English, but <laughs> and then an N, yeah. and then I'd I'd simply have a run command on the end with a path um, for whatever I need, but that's because I keep opening and closing the same target on uh, my computer. So, so. Man, actually, I, I mean, I'm really glad we're doing this because what you're doing there, to me, I don't think of them as hot strings, but because you're running something. But is that still mm. considered a hot string if you're, instead of doing a text replace, right, which obviously that's still is doing, but you're, yeah. you're going to run something, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right, but the hot string part it's the one here mm -hmm. between the, the columns. So whatever you actually use it for, um, this part here is just the hot string. Um, I think you call it a hot string label. Um, because that's, yeah, that's, that's the term used, but So that yeah. would work, I mean, uh, when you say label, I think of also like for subroutines. Um, it's the mm. thing that it jumps down to, and then everything after that, up until the return, it runs. Yeah, exactly. So if I, as an example, used run and a built-in variable of some kind, maybe my documents would be usable um, and put in a return to, to end the routine. Whenever I type this small star, means that I don't need to actually type anything after these five letters. Right. So if now I actually type these five letters, the big O, B e R, uh, and like that, it would not be deleted, all of it. And then this command, mm -hmm. the run command, would open my documents. So if I now save it, and actually, uh, start the script. As, as you can see, that's quite easy using site as we are doing here. So you'll save it and you'll run it. So and now down here, that script is actually running. Our hotkey test that hk. So now when I actually type in this text here, you'll see it working. So as you saw, it was deleted and my documents was opened. 